So a long time ago, back before they built this under the building, I was teaching in third grade, and at that point, do you know how they had the cubbies built into the wall? Yeah. That was a closet, what the cubbies had. So I was teaching math, the wonderful world of fractions, because everybody knows that math rocks and science rules. Yeah. So everything was going really well until suddenly I heard this little tin voice go, boring. I look around, nobody could possibly think math was boring, especially that day, because we were teaching it with Hershey bars for fractions. And the class looked innocent, and that should have been my first tip that something was up, because this class was never totally innocent. So I go back to teaching, and suddenly I hear it again. Boring. This time I was ready for it. This time I knew it came from the little Susie Cream Cheese's back. So I walked over. Susie. Yes, Mrs. Gorman. Did you say something? Oh, no, Mrs. Gorman. That wasn't me. That was my Furby. Oh, now, the Furby. I had never heard of a Furby before. For those of you who have not had the pleasure, that's a Furby. Oh. Oh Ew. God, I'm, I'm That's Ignore the, the for sale part, just go with the fur Furby picture. Now, a Furby was a little mechanical toy. It's about yay tall. It's got a little beak. It's got ears that wiggle. It's got a, like, hard to see, but there's a flight sensor in its forehead. And it's really kind of sophisticated. It, no, it has a gyroscope in it, so it can tell if it's been picked up or not. It's got um, a light sensor, so if it knows it's, it's dark or light. And if you don't, when you first get it, it starts speaking Furby language, but the more you play with it, the more it will learn, e learn English. And if you don't pick it up after a while, it starts trying to get you to play with it by saying things like, boring. Okay. Now, I'd never heard of a Furby before, so I said, Susie. Yes, Mrs. Gorman? A what? So she whips the Furby out of her desk. She's, the Furby's happy. The Furby knows it's gone from a dark place to a light place. The Furby thinks somebody's going to play with it. The Furby's going, woohoo, party, let's play. <laughs> Susie? Yes, Mrs. Gorman? Turn it off. Oh, no, Mrs. Gorman, you can't turn it off. It doesn't have an off switch. Oh, God. What do you mean it doesn't have an off switch? So I take the Furby from her. I'm turning it this way and I'm turning it that way. It has a battery compartment, but it's sealed shut with four screws, and I didn't bring a screwdriver to work that day. There is no off switch. What kind of a sick mind makes a talking toy with no off switch? <laughs> so you can't put them to sleep, but Susie didn't tell me that because I didn't say put it to sleep. I said turn it off, and she was right. You can't turn it off. Susie was very literal. So the Furby's upside down. Be scared, be scared, help, help. Oh, no. Okay, the class is not thinking about fractions anymore. The class is thinking about the teacher who can't turn off a Furby. <laughs> so I, I hand it back to Susie, and I said, Susie, yes, Mrs. Gorman. Now I have to think of something to get this thing out of my math class because I'm losing control. And Susie was the kind of kid that you had to tell her one step at a time what to do, because she was very little. Take the Furby, go to the closet, open the closet, find your backpack. You don't tell her her backpack, there's no telling where it's going to end up. Take out your backpack, put the Furby, oh, unzip your backpack, put your Furby in your backpack, close your backpack, put your backpack on your coat hook, close the closet, go back to your desk, Okay, now the class knows this was a lot of steps for Susie, and the Furby's really happy as she's carrying it to the closet to be put away. It's going la 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 la. I don't know why the Furby was singing the swear song, but it was, oh, yeah. I swear. That's why it's not familiar. So she goes to the closet. She stands there for a minute. She knows she came there for something. I'm kind of like this in the middle of the night with the refrigerator. And she can't quite remember why, and then she goes, oh, Furby, she remembers now. Class is watching. Susie opens the closet. Susie looks at all the coat hooks for the one with her name over, on it. She finds her coat hook. She takes out her backpack. She opens her backpack. She puts the Furby in the backpack. She closes the backpack. She puts the backpack back on the coat hook. She closes the closet. She goes back to her seat and sits down. She smiles at me. She has remembered all of those steps and she is ready for math. Meanwhile, something in my closet is going, no light, no light, he's scared, help, help. <laughs> um, okay, so we, we can't focus on math because the Furby is in the closet screaming for help. Okay, Susie. Yes, Mrs. Gorman. Yes. Go to the closet. Open the closet. Find your backpack. Take out your backpack. And for the love of God, do not open your backpack. Take your backpack to the nurse's office and tell the nurse that Mrs. Gorman says that your Furby has to go in her freezer for the rest of the day. Okay, and all the way down the hall, you hear the Furby yelling, no light, no light, me scared, no light. <laughs>
And God bless the nurse who was here at the time, Mrs. Kane. She didn't even ask who was screaming for help in the backpack. She just put it in the freezer and closed it. So if you happen to be at Crocker Farm that day, and I don't think any of you were because I don't think you were born yet, um, and you happen to be in the nurse's office and someone was screaming for help inside the freezer when she opened it up to get an ice pack, that's why. Amen. Woo!